with all the cooking and entertaining we do over the holiday season, sometimes you'll just want to make your family and any visiting relatives and take them out for comfort food. So where can you take the whole group and make everybody happy? Our friend Ariel Turner, professional foodie with a passion for all things food and Bev, is here as restaurant correspondent to talk about some of those. Welcome. Thanks for being here. Thanks so much for having me. I love comfort food, and so this is a yeah. fun topic. Well, and before we even get into those, you're talking about feeding a group. Um, comfort food is sure to please. What does it take to find a good restaurant for, for a large group? Because not every restaurant can accommodate no. your party at 12. And you have to think about space. If you have young children who are going to roam, mm -hmm. you know, we'd like to keep them near the table, but if they're going to get up and roam, you want to make sure that you're in an environment where that's okay to do and you're not going to disrupt other diners. So the choices that we've that I have today are those that are really great for families or it can be families of adults as well and you can still have a good time and please everyone and their dietary choices and things yeah. like that. So variety, sometimes if there's a little bit of entertainment on site that helps yes, too. Yes, yes, for uh, sure. We're highlighting these these great places for feeding the family this season then. You like Woodside Bistro, what makes it good? So Woodside is great just because the food itself is really good. You can go from scallops to this amazing smoked Gouda mac and cheese that they have, mm. sandwiches, you can get fries, they have a great brunch as well so if you decide that your holiday, you've had enough of holiday food and you just want to go out for brunch on a Saturday or Sunday, go do that. But they also have a great little outdoor space too. So if you need to send the kids outside to run in the grass, you can do that. But indoors has plenty of space mm -hmm. as well. And, and they can accommodate groups. And it seems like a menu where if somebody said, what is it that you're craving? Right. Okay, they have something like and that. And they also have vegan options too. Yeah. So that, that's a nice thing. You can know that if you're taking mm -hmm. whomever out who might have some dietary preferences, you can accommodate those there too. You're covered. And then a place with some activity some entertainment that's always helpful to keep your, your big group happy local queue you say makes it easy to bring yeah. that group to dinner and I think people think of it as the bar where you're gonna run into your old east side or riverside friends from high school which yeah. does happen every time I'm there but also they have the family side of the restaurant um, the Local Q is great at catering as well, so you can think, even if you want to think ahead, like we just want a big platter of barbecue, you want to do your make your own mac and cheese, um, at soups, mm -hmm. things that you think about during cold weather that you really want, that you want to have comfort, and you also don't want to have to worry about it. So again, plenty of space for yeah. your family, lots of options, it's just, and it's it's just, it's really good food and it's easy. Good thought, good, good recommendation, and then you can certainly feed the family and the very extended family at Henry's Smokehouse. Tell us right. why that's a pick of yours. So if, if you just want some barbecue and you know maybe you've cooked all day in, inside and you're like I just don't want to cook anymore. Maybe you don't want to go out but you want to order that food in. Henry's is great for that. Also Henry's has great outdoor space too so if we get a pop of one of those warm days like we often mm -hmm. do um, that's a great space to go and let the kids run around, spread out, get some great pork barbecue, some brisket. The sides are always great. Those green beans kill me every time. I just, oh. I could eat a whole styrofoam full of them. But it, that's just another great place. Lots of Greenville history. It's a really great little restaurant to support. And it's, it's just, again, easy. You yep. have parking space or just bring it in if you need to just carry out take it home and you feel good about supporting a restaurant that's taken such good care of everybody too yes, so exactly so everybody wins. exactly um, as you're writing for off the grid greenville the nonprofit promoting small businesses you run into all kinds of good ideas and gems anything that yes. you're writing about that you want people to keep an eye out so for? coming up in january we start to look at making our sometimes it's top 10 sometimes it's top 12 restaurants that we recommend based on the quality mm -hmm. and the service and the fact that they're inclusive anyone can walk in and be treated the same way so start looking for us to be kind of teasing out who okay. some of those might be and you'll see that come up in january for sure all right we'll look for your list ariel thank you so much we appreciate it thanks so much for having me and people can find you on social media to see where your adventures are taking you also off the grid greenville that info is on screen now